Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Outdoors. Today we're going to talk about whipping. You want to whip the end of a rope so it doesn't unravel. And what you're going to do with that, you're going to take a thinner, I use a nylon string is what I use. And I'm going to take a shorter end here and it's going to make a, a loop here. You don't want to go too close to the end because it's kind of hard to hang on to. And just kind of hold that together like that. Then take your longer end and wrap around overlapping one time and just keep going. Just like that. You have to go real tight but medium. And I usually go about a half inch or so, something like that. Then what you're going to do is you're going to tuck the end through the loop like that and kind of hold it all down tight. Then take the other end, pull that down, that, that pulls down your loop. And then basically what I do is wrap it around a finger on each side and pull tight till the it's snug and then take this side here and pull it until that loop sucks underneath the, the wraps. Just like that. There you go. That's about halfway. It's just what you want right there. Then all you're going to do is cut off your ends. Just like that. And then trim your rope up to where you want it to be at. I usually go about another, about a quarter inch away from the, the whipping. And fluff it up a little bit. And there you have a pretty good, pretty good whipping right there. And that'll keep the end of your, your uh, rope from fraying out. Pretty handy thing. Another thing they have, you have is, uh, is the Turk's head uh, stopper and for that you're going to unwind one strand about about five inches or so is a good good distance just unwrap it like that then put the put the rope in your hand like this so that the, the end is is going this way and this is your left hand then stick your finger on here and then you're going to wrap around your finger and this kind of rope is loose so you're going to want to keep it tight with a little twist go around one time two times then go right back through the hole behind your finger and just snug it down snug it down just like that real hard and then pull it as tight as you can real tight and then trim off the ends you'd use this more on a and then kind of fluff up your ends if you want that that seems to hold the end pretty good you use this more on a natural rope for uh, me for a nylon rope or something like that I usually um, put a back splice on nylon ropes or, or natural ropes they look so much nicer but this is a, a real quick way to stop a rope from unraveling it seems to work pretty good well that's all I have for you right now